small city in northern Italy, made famous by Andrea Palladio in the 16th century. The old city is home to 23 buildings designed by the famous architect. The city's appearance very much bears his stamp. Vicenza's landmark in the heart of the old city is the Basilica. I'm Attilio, a city tour guide in Vicenza. Welcome to Palladio's city. 82-year-old Attilio Polini has lived in Vicenza for more than 40 years. He used to work as an engineer, but since his retirement, he's been a tour guide. He's always been a great admirer of Andrea Palladio. Almost all of Palladio's buildings are here in Vicenza. The most important of them is the basilica we see here behind us. The Renaissance-style loggia made Palladio famous. After he won the competition for the design of the loggia and was allowed to build it, he was renowned throughout the city. Suddenly, all the nobles wanted a villa built by Palladio. So that was basically how his career started. Many people don't realize that the basilica houses not a church, but a range of stores. The Teatro Olimpico, built in the style of an ancient Roman theater, was Palladio's last work. He died in 1580, but his son oversaw the completion of the building. The Villa Rotunda is considered Palladio's most beautiful villa. Goethe was a great admirer. Architecture may never have indulged in more luxury. Our guide points out how, in the Italian translation of Goethe's words, luxury was changed to magnificence. Palladio's influence is omnipresent in the city to this day. A small inner-city print shop sells lithographs, reproducing the details of Palladio's sketches from 500 years ago. The reproductions are manufactured using a traditional printing method. A special old limestone slab is prepared with special inks. This is done to make a genuine reprint. We used this old technique to print six of Palladio's sketches. It was very gratifying to achieve such a good result. After all, it took us nine months to get a satisfying result. It was really very beautiful. Outside the city gates is the Villa Gordi, the oldest villa Palladio designed. Built in 1540, it's still privately owned. Today, Christian Malinverni lives in it. His family has used it as their summer residence for generations. Some rooms of the villa can be rented for concerts or weddings. The rest is private. The owner's favorite room is the kitchen. It's almost 500 years old, and these days it's no longer in use. This is the original kitchen that Palladio had built in 1540. It was Palladio's first villa, so this is also the first kitchen he ever designed, which is very important for people who study his work. Here are three ovens, one for baking bread and one for preparing meat. Water was filled up above, and down below was wood for the fire. Good food has always been part of Italian culture. People like to meet in Vicenza's old city in the early evening for an aperitivo. Very popular is a spritz, a mixture of white wine, mineral water and aperol, or campari. A perfect way to end the day in Vicenza, surrounded by a fabulous architectural backdrop. <laughs>